Let's learn how to use the problems panel inside of VS Code. To open up the problems panel, you can hit Control Shift M on the keyboard, or you can go up to View and then go to Problems. This will open up directly to a problems panel view at the bottom of your screen that you can then see all of the issues with the current file that you're in. Now, if you only have one file open in the editor, you'll see that you can only see the issues with that one file. But as we start opening more files in the editor, you'll see that you can see all of the issues with all of the files that are currently open inside of your editor. This keeps it clean so it's not overwhelmed by the vast majority of files that could be in your project as opposed to just the ones that you're currently working on. If we open up one of these drop downs, we can actually click on the problem area and it takes us directly to that issue. It will even select the bit of code that is an issue so that you can edit it as you need to. You get a description as to why it's an issue as well as what caught it as an issue. For me specifically, this is ESLint, and if I hover over no empty, if I were to click on this, it will take me directly to an explanation of the issue that it caught inside of my code. For this particular one, it's telling me that there can't be any empty block statements. And to fix this, I would have to add something within this for loop. Once I add something in the block, you'll notice the issue now goes away in this problems panel, and we've resolved that particular problem. If we bring back that error, we actually have a way of marking this as ignored, like Basically, we don't care that this is an empty block statement. We're just going to ignore it. And to do that, we can add a comment. And inside the comment is some specific language for ESLint to know to ignore the next statement. You can see that I added this comment. And now that problem is no longer in our problems panel, as well as not showing up inside of our editor. Now, while ESLint can see this comment and know to disable the next line, you may not know what to be actually typing in order for you to disable the next line. The problem is you would have to remember that you have to type ESLint dash disable dash next dash line in order for ESLint to just ignore the next line. And the reason for that is because we don't get any IntelliSense inside the editor to know what we can use to disable the potentially next line or next issue. This is where a handy extension comes in that can actually allow us to get some IntelliSense and create these snippets that will disable the next line for us. If we go to the marketplace, we can actually search for ESLint. Inside of here, there's an extension called ESLint Disable Snippets. And this will automatically show you inside of the IntelliSense what things you can choose from to disable next lines or a block of code or whatever you might need. So let's go ahead and install this. Now let's go back to this empty block statement and let's actually use the IntelliSense to give us the snippet that we want to use to disable this next comment. If I type in ESLint and then dash disable, you can see that I have a few options. I have a disable, which will actually open up a block of comments that will automatically disable any linting inside of them. I can say disable line, which will disable just the, the current line that I'm on. Or I can say disable next line, which will add a comment just like we did before. Now, the second option is to disable a certain issue. So you can see you have to pick among these issues to, to find the one that you want to disable. If I start typing no empty, which is our problem issue, I can go to that rule choice and hit enter. And now automatically it removes that block. But you'll notice I get another linting issue, which says that L is assigned a value, but never used. So you can see that it only cleared that particular issue issue, but not all of the issues. If you want to clear all of the issues for this particular snippet, you'll have to delete no empty, and then it will clear everything so that you don't have any linting for the next line. So this problems panel is really useful to jump to between issues that you're having inside of your code. And that is how you use the problems panel inside of VS Code.